What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today is finally the day, man. It is finally time for San Diego Comic Con. Today is the day of Preview Night 2023. Now, I have no idea what will be revealed tonight, if there will be any reveals tonight. I imagine there will be. Maybe they've announced some stuff. But at the time of recording this, I am boarding my first flight. My flight should be taken off to San Diego. And so by the time we get there tonight, Brad, it will be time to cover all the news there and I hope to I don't know when I'll do my full coverage video I expect to do a full walkthrough with the camera and everything like that and explain my thoughts on the figures some other details and different content of course covering everything there and detailing the trip and detailing it in a vlog probably coming of course but I wanted to get this video up before we got any reveals because I wanted my official wish list or my official wants list out there before we reacted to him, so I put my wish list out there while you're awaiting the coverage video. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. This is my official San Diego Comic Con wish list for this year for 2023. Again, man, preview night tonight. Cannot wait for it. My first ever Comic Con. I am excited, ready to go. Let's get into it, man. Starting out first with my wish list. So the, most of these things are pretty practical. I don't think I put anything on there that is egregiously awful or uh, like not possible, you know. So uh, we we will see. But diving into it first, man. Ultimate Edition non. Non Demon Finn Balor. This has been on my wish list a while. We've discussed this on the channel for quite a while, man. I want to see an Ultimate Edition Non Demon Finn Balor, which it's kind of probably going to fall into the course of Randy Orton's Ultimate Edition. And we're actually we're going to have that review posted up tomorrow. So even if I don't upload from San Diego Comic Con, there will be an Ultimate Edition Randy Orton review coming tomorrow to the channel, which is live on Patreon right now for all of our patrons. But the Randy Orton figure was based on a modern day Randy Orton, and I think that would be the same case for a Finn Balor. If they were to do a non-demon, they're not going to give us like a throwback non-demon. It would be a Judgment Day Finn Balor. And I guess it wouldn't be egregious because you could probably just take the the, the top half of the ultimate Finn Balor non-demon Judgment Day figure. And you could put it on an old Elite and pr it could pretty much get all the things done. You wouldn't have the drop down hips, which I guess, depending on who you ask, would be a W. We have kick pad molds with the toe articulation you could swap them out for. So you could play around with that. But the biggest thing is getting a nice Ultimate Edition articulation Finn Balor with sick ass head sculpts. So some cool accessories, interchangeable hands. That's what I'm looking for for a Finn Balor. Maybe some sleeve. You know, I would love to see him in the joggers. I'm afraid they're going to give him the Montez Ford treatment, though. I could see him possibly giving them the Usos Ultimate Edition lower as well, possibly. Maybe with purple shoes, which kind of sounds like a, a dope figure, to be honest with you. That kind of sounds like an amazing figure, even though I don't really care for the Montez Ford legs on his Elite 81 figure. That new Ultimate Edition Usos lower half might, might actually work for a Finn Balor. So all those things remain to be seen, but... But, you know, we don't have anything confirmed. I don't know anything about that. But an Ultimate Edition non-Demon Finn Balor is at, I wouldn't say the top of my list, but it's on my list. It's a high priority for me. I want to see that, no doubt. And even any Demon Ultimate Edition Finn Balor would be great. Any Finn Balor figure for me is a W because I love him. He's one of my favorites. So any Finn Balor is great, but an Ultimate Edition non-Demon would be better for me. But I'll take a I'll take a Demon. Shoot, you, you're not going to hear me complaining about anything Finn Balor. Next up is going to be Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle. Now, to be honest with you, this kind of falls into any Kurt Angle, I don't really care what the Kurt Angle is, Brad. You book it. You go ahead, you, you go buy it. You know what I'm saying? From our ranking videos, Kurt Angle from Unforgiven 01, though, is the top of the list for me. That is one of my favorite wrestling moments ever. It's one of my favorite eras of WWE right there at the turn of the century. And... Anything 2001 is absolutely just right up my valley, but a 2001 Kurt Angle from Unforgiven specifically would be beautiful. He's going to have the boots that I've been begging Mattel to make in elite figure form. We did our best boots of all time before. So if you guys know about that history and where that plays into Kurt Angle with my life, so Unforgiven 01 Kurt Angle is on my list, but any Kurt Angle will suffice. Next up, we have another 2001 figure, guys, and it is going to be 2001 Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, this could be an Elite. This could be an Ultimate Edition. I just really want to see the return to beat up the Alliance in, like, the Austin 316 shirt with the black, orange, and yellow with the skull graphic on the back. You guys know that we have t-shirts now that don't feature any Velcro. It's a perfect place for them to finally release a lot of Stone Cold Steve Austins. And I can tell you right now, a little spoiler, we're going to see a Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite revealed to us. We already knew about it, but it's coming in a very interesting thing, and that's that's all I can really say at the moment, but it's coming in a very interesting thing in the Stone Cold Elite that we saw back at WrestleMania weekend, and that's a perfect base for what I want here. 
So, man, an 01 Stone Cold Ultimate or Elite would suffice. We could give him blue jorts. You could fix up all kinds of crazy head sculpts. You can give him the pool cue from when he beat the hell out of the Alliance. Just lots of stuff you can do there. Give him a watch accessory that we haven't seen before, which actually falls in line with our next figure on the list, which is a promo Roman Reigns with accurate beard and fade. Ponytail head sculpt, taper faded beard and hair with a watch in his joggers with his shoes. That's what I want to see. Maybe a tracksuit elite would be fantastic. Even a tracksuit ultimate would be amazing for Roman Reigns. I think you would get a lot of playability out of that. Lots of customized options. They definitely need to make a watch mold. They've they've been doing this long enough. It is time to have a removable watch for certain figures. They could put it on Roman. They could put it on Stone Cold. They could put it on different GMs and different suited figures possibly. Well, I guess if the sleeve comes down too far, then no. But you get what I'm saying. There's plenty of opportunities to include a watch, and I think that would be perfect. New sculpt that we have not seen put that on Austin then it falls in line with a promo Roman but a promo Roman is high on my list as well next up on my list is going to be any John Cena before 2008 so this is debut Cena. I guess like the first like 02 I really don't really care about at least for his prototype gimmick I really don't want any of those I guess if we got one that would be cool but it's not on my that's not on my list that's not what I'm, I'm talking from Dr. Thugonomics when the when the gimmick first started up until about 2008 any gear, any hat combination, any jerseys, any t-shirts, that's right up my valley. An Ultimate Edition would be beautiful. An Elite would be beautiful. I just want to see any Cena before 2008. Yeah, I'll take any of them. You know, there's a lot of attires we haven't seen, a lot of hats we haven't seen. So they could fit these things in. I'd love to see it. They could get creative. I know some things they can't do, but anything chain gang related, man, is on the table. That's all WWE licensed. You don't have to worry about jerseys and stuff like that. When it's chain gang, you can just make it. And I know with their new mesh and and stretchy cloth goods that are non-Velcro, the, the the limits don't even exist, right? I mean, there's so many things they could do there and, and venture out and see, but we got some fix-ups coming at the end of this week that you're going to lose your mind over. Patron members know what I'm talking about. Kind of falls in line with what I'm saying here. So any Cena before 2008 is also on my list. Next up on my list is going to be more Ruthless Aggression figures. Now, we of course already know that the Ruthless Aggression Elite line, the Walmart exclusive line, is already pretty much ventured out, right? We know it's transitioning into a Monday Night Wars line, which is very epic. I'm glad that... Like, I love Ruthless Aggression Era. I love the Monday Night War Era. So, both of those are fine with me. But, specifically, since that era is going away, they're going to have to get creative. They're going to have to find other ways to plug Ruthless Aggression figures into the line. Whether that's Ultimate Editions. You know, we, we of course, we, we know that RVD, Brock Lesnar, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio have came and gone. Or, I mean, they're coming and then they will be gone. And then, you know, they're going to have to plug Ruthless Aggression Elites maybe back into the Legends Target Wave like we saw with Batista and stuff like that. So, we will have to see about that. I could see us potentially getting a Randy Orton there, you know, using his current ultimate switch and head sculpts and redecoing it and give us giving us a ruthless aggression Orton there. Actually, that's pretty perfect, man. The, the Legends target exclusive waves with ultimates and stuff like that is probably the best way they can get those guys in there depending on who the character is, but that is uh, on top of my priority list. I mean, Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, John Cena, Randy Orton, Edge, Batista, Rey Mysterio, so many different guys they could really make, man. That's just getting started. Maybe a Carlito figure, possibly. Who, who the hell knows? But the last figure on my list, man, is going to be Rob Van Dam from WrestleMania 22. Now, we've discussed this on the channel. I think it could be an Elite that comes with a brand new RVD head sculpt. It'll probably come with a repeat of the Ultimate RVD head sculpt, to be honest with you. But... I want to see the airbrushed Money in the Bank briefcase, not the big-ass version. I want the good Chase Money in the Bank standard version that we saw back in the day with the basics, right? The more accurate Money in the Bank briefcase size with the airbrushed Mr. Money in the Bank and RVD briefcases with the dragon red gear. That's what I want to see. I That's on my wish list. Been on there a long time. I don't care if it's an ultimate. I don't care if it's an elite. I don't really give a damn. I just want to see that figure, man. So maybe they could put the Money in the Bank briefcase in an ECW championship, and then you got to buy the ultimate edition to get the WWE championship. Or maybe it'll come with the Money in the Bank briefcase in an IC title. I don't know, but these are things we need to see, man. These are things that we need to see. I want to see an RVD WrestleMania 22 figure. And I mean, uh, of course, if I sat here and thought long enough, I could give you a hundred different figures I would like to see. And I think any first time in the lines are on my list because I, I'm always about venturing out and getting new guys in the line that we've never seen before. That's always a pop for me. And of course, I'll take repeat characters, but I think getting first time in the lines is a, very important to a lot of collectors for sure, especially, you know, people that only like to collect one of one guy. I think, you know, expanding that, the collections and getting unique characters we've never seen is the biggest thing for us. So that is my complete San Diego Comic-Con wish list, man. Ultimate Edition non-Demon Finn Balor, Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle, 2001 Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
Austin Elite or Ultimate. Promo Roman Reigns with accurate beard and fade. Any John Cena before 2008. More Ruthless Aggression figures and RVD from WrestleMania 22. Pretty standard list right here, man. Even if I get one of these, I think it'll make the week worth it to me. And I can't wait to be there in person to cover all of it with you. But stay tuned to the channel. This is going up on Wednesday morning. So stay tuned to the channel for the rest of the day. I don't know what I'm going to be posting. I don't know when. The schedule is going to be super hectic. So I'm going to do my best to be able to manage it. And also, I don't know about my internet connection. So I may not be able to post videos until the following morning. Uh, depending on how I get the edit in there and everything like that. I do plan on bringing my entire setup out there so that I'm able to edit it with the camera and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned, man. But that is going to wrap up my San Diego Comic-Con wish list. Hopefully you guys watch this video before you watch any reveals. That way you will know if we got some of this stuff. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the video, man. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT Army. Again, there are some early videos up right now on the Patreon if you guys are interested in that. Definitely go check that out. Link in the description below. Love the patron members so much. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you for San Diego Comic-Con. We'll